Hi guys, Andre Olga here to talk about back adjustment. What is back adjustment? You know, I work on uh, futures and the future have an expiry, a duration, a limited life. Such futures happen to expire every three months, some are monthly, it depends on the, on the instrument of the market. What, what, what happens then? If we compare, for example, crude oil, okay, and we look at the quotes of June compared to July, we see that June maybe is trading here and July is trading up there at a certain distance, okay? Uh, this might be above, below, I don't enter these details because this is not the purpose of this video, but there is a difference, okay? Now, uh, the moves are more or less similar because it's the same commodity at the end of the day, but there is a difference. So, when we come to the moment in where we decide to trade on the next spider because there are higher volumes or for any reason, our chart will have, for example, June here and then all of a sudden July because we change. And this gap here, which we have seen here, is there on our chart and uh, um, it's not a real gap. If it is, for example, 0.5, which makes sense in crude oil, there has not been a real jump of 0.5, okay? So if we use this chart, which makes sense because of the real prices that we saw and that we traded, if we build a moving average somewhere here below, that moving average will take into account this gap. But this will force the calculation of the moving average because there has, no be, there has not been a real gap there. So it's not the moving average, it's not showing a real behavior of the market because there has not been any jump in prices there. So what do we do? What do brokers and providers do? When we are here, they take all the past data and they change the prices of the past so that these two points merge together and there is no longer a gap. How do they do that? An easy way to do is, they say, oh, there is a 0.5 gap, perfect. I add 0.5 to all prices in the past. Or if this were here, it would subtract 0.5, okay? Another way is to measure the ratio and to multiply. The addition is the simplest way, the ratio is another method. You can choose also depending on the provider you have. What is the, what, what, what can the problems be? Well, I say this is the solution if you build trading systems where you need a relation between prices, where you need to read the relation by the moving average, indicators, you have to do this. In some cases, if we have much often the next series below the previous one, it happens that if we go back in the past, we might have negative prices. It happens. Look at bonds and means. There are situations where we have negative prices. And, and this is a nonsense, obviously, okay? So actually, uh, you, you work with charts that are no longer real and have nothing to do with reality because there are evident mistakes. You cannot have negative prices, not yet, at least. And then another point is that if you look back in the past, let's say a uh, historical top of the markets, okay? You have a price there, but as that price has been back adjusted, let's say it was 10 years ago, so uh, every year for 12, times a year you add 0.5, let's say, for 10 years you add a, a rougher amount of uh, distance to that point. So you look, this is the historical top, but that number will never be the real maximum price traded in the market. That number you see has never been touched because it is a number deriving from a mathematical operation. And this might be a problem depending on how you tend to use that information. So you must be aware of it. I do use back adjusted prices by data feed provider adjust the prices for me. I have to reload all past data whenever they adjust it because I had them on my client. I have to cancel or write all the data. If it's on the server of broker, you have just to reload the chart and you get the back adjusted data. But you have to be aware. Do you want to use it because you need it? For your trading system, perfect. Be aware, you might have negative data and, most important, levels that have never really been touched in the market. This is it. Stay tuned for more stuff. Ciao, Andrea Ocker.
Enjoyed it? Click the link below and you will be noticed as soon as new material is available.